In this video, we're going to look at a few examples for solving transversal problems with equations level one within the Delta Math Online system. So we're given parallel lines, M and N are parallel. So let's find the value of X. For my students, I want you to show your work, uh, write an algebraic equation uh, based on the relationship, and then show the work to solve for X. So in this example, we're given corresponding angles, and we know that corresponding angles are congruent when the lines are parallel. So the measures are the same. So we set those equal to each other. So it's 8x minus 27 has to equal 7x minus 4. So then we're going to solve this equation. So let's move the 27 over. Negative 27, we're going to add 27 to both sides. And while we're at it, let's move the x to the left side. So let's subtract 7x from both sides. And so I get x on the left side equals... Uh, negative 4 plus 27 is Michael Jordan, right? 23. All right, so then let's type that in. 23. Again, you just have to put the, the number in there. You don't have to write x equals here, okay? Just put the number in, even though it doesn't say it on this one. And there it is. Here's our next example. This time we're given same side interior angles, right? The 6x plus 4 and the 4x minus 14. They're on the same side of the transversal and they're both interior. And we know that same side interior angles, some textbooks call it co-interior angles, are supplementary when the lines are parallel. So to write the algebraic equation, we're going to write 6x plus 4 plus 4x minus 14 equals 180 degrees. All right. So remember, we do. There's five different relationships we know with the parallel lines, and the same side interior, same side exterior are supplementary. The corresponding, the alternate interior, and the alternate exterior ones are all congruent, the same measures. So when you write the equations, you're either going to be writing they're equal or they add up to 180. But you need to know the relationship. The common mistake students make is they just try to guess which one, or they try to do all in the same way, and they get you know, you get about half the problems right, half the problems wrong, which doesn't work out for you. Okay, so now we're going to combine like terms. So we get 10x minus 10 equals 180. We're going to add that 10 to both sides. So we get 10x equals 190. We divide both sides by 10, and we get x equals 19. So let's check to see if we got it right. it and we got it right and they're all that way so it's all based on the relationship write the algebraic equation and then solve for x that's all there is to it